Volcanoes are one of the most fascinating and destructive forces on Earth. They can create beautiful landscapes, but they can also be deadly. In this video, we'll learn about the causes of volcanoes, the problems they create, their benefits, and some of the most significant eruptions in history. What is a volcano? A volcano is where molten rock, called magma, erupts from the Earth's crust. As it rises, it cools and hardens into rock. Volcanoes can form both on land and underwater. There are three main types of volcanoes. Shield volcanoes. A shield volcano is a broad, low-profile volcano formed by the eruption of fluid lava. It is named for its shape, which resembles a warrior's shield lying on the ground. These volcanoes are the most common type on Earth, and they are found in countries all over the world. An example of a shield volcano is Mauna Loa in Hawaii, which stands at a shocking 13,677 feet tall. Conic Volcanoes Conic volcanoes are tall, steep-sided volcanoes that form when a certain type of lava flows from the peak of the volcano. Rhyolitic lava is high in silica and low in iron and magnesium. It is very dense and moves slowly to form thick, sticky flows. Some examples of conic volcanoes include Mount Fuji in Japan and the famous Mount Vesuvius in Italy. Mixed Volcanoes Mixed volcanoes are special types of volcanoes that have characteristics of both shield and conic volcanoes. They form when different kinds of lava erupt from the volcano. They start off with eruptions of runny lava, similar to shield volcanoes. This lava flows smoothly and covers a large area, forming a wide base like a shield. But as the volcano keeps erupting, the lava can change. It becomes thicker and contains more silica, which makes it more sticky. This causes the volcano shape to transform from a shield to a cone-like structure. With each eruption, the volcano adds layers of different materials, like lava, ash, and debris, which pile up on top of each other. These layers give the volcano a layered appearance. Some examples of mixed volcanoes include Mount St. Helens in the United States and Pinatabu in the Philippines. The Causes of Volcanic Eruptions Eruptions are caused by the movement of tectonic plates. Tectonic plates are large pieces of the Earth's crust that are constantly shifting. When two tectonic plates collide, one plate is forced underneath the other. This process is called subduction. As the plate moves downward, it melts and forms magma. The magma then rises to the surface and violently erupts from the volcano. The movement of tectonic plates is caused by the Earth's internal heat. The Earth's core is very hot, and this causes the mantle, the layer of rock between the core and the crust, to shift and melt. The mantle is made up of molten rock, which behaves like a fluid. As the molten rock moves, it drags the tectonic plates with it. Over millions of years, this movement has created the Earth's continents and oceans. It has also created the volcanoes that we see today. Here are some of the other factors that can cause volcanoes to erupt. The presence of water. Water can help to trigger volcanic eruptions. When water comes into contact with magma, it can cause the magma to expand. This expansion can create pressure, which can cause a volcano to literally explode. The presence of gases. If the magma contains a low amount of gas, it tends to be more fluid. When this type of magma reaches the surface, it flows out smoothly and steadily. These eruptions are called effusive eruptions, and they are typically associated with shield volcanoes. The lava flows slowly and can cover large distances without explosive activity. However, when the magma contains a high amount of gas, it becomes more thick and sticky. The gas bubbles get trapped within the magma, creating pressure. As this pressure builds up, it can lead to explosive eruptions. These explosions release tons of volcanic gases, along with fragmented rock and ash. Conic volcanoes are commonly associated with explosive eruptions. The Benefits of Volcanoes you may wonder how volcanic eruptions can benefit us when all they seem to do is cause mass destruction. But surprisingly, they can provide some exciting benefits for the planet. New Land Volcanoes can create new land by depositing lava and ash on the surface of the Earth. This new land can be used for agriculture or for development. For example, the island of Hawaii was created by the eruption of volcanoes and the distribution of its products. Minerals Volcanoes can be a source of valuable minerals such as gold, silver, and copper. These minerals can be mined to create jewelry, electronics, and construction materials. For example, the Philippines is a significant source of copper and gold mined from volcanoes. 
Nutrients. Volcanoes can help to spread nutrients around the environment by depositing ash and lava. For example, the soil around volcanoes is often very fertile, which is why many people choose to live close to them. Tourism. Volcanoes can be a significant source of tourism income. People worldwide come to see volcanoes and they spend money on hotels, food and souvenirs. For example, the volcano Mount Fuji in Japan is a significant tourist destination. Volcanic ash can be used to make concrete. This ash is a type of rock formed when volcanoes erupt. It is a solid material and it is vital construction material used to build roads, bridges and buildings. Volcanic gases and energy production. Volcanic gases such as carbon dioxide and methane can generate electricity. This is achieved by burning the gases to create heat, turning water into steam. The steam is then used to turn a turbine, which generates electricity. Volcanic heat and crop production. The heat from volcanoes can be used to grow crops in areas that would otherwise be too cold. The heat from the volcano warms the air inside greenhouses, which allows crops to flourish. Mega eruptions. There have been many significant volcanic eruptions throughout history. Let's look at three of them. The Toba Super Eruption. This volcanic eruption occurred around 74,000 years ago in what is now Sumatra, Indonesia. It is one of the Earth's largest known explosive eruptions, and it is thought to have significantly impacted human evolution. Some of the possible effects of the Toba Super Eruption. Global cooling. The eruption of the Toba volcano ejected a tremendous amount of ash and gas into the atmosphere. This ash and gas blocked out the sun, causing global cooling. This cooling has lasted for several years, and it likely caused a significant decline in the human population. Genetic Bottleneck The global cooling caused by the Toba super eruption may have caused a genetic bottleneck in human evolution. A genetic bottleneck is a sudden and severe reduction in the size of a population. This can happen when a population is wiped out by a natural disaster, such as a volcanic eruption. A genetic bottleneck can lead to a loss of genetic diversity, making a population more vulnerable to disease and other challenges. Human migration. The Toba super eruption may have also led to human migration. The global cooling caused by the eruption may have made it difficult for humans to live in some parts of the world. This may have forced humans to migrate to other parts of the world, which could have led to the spread of human culture and technology. The Toba super eruption is a fascinating and important event in human history. It is still a topic of active research, and we are still learning about its possible effects. The Pompeii Eruption The eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD was one of the deadliest volcanic eruptions in history. The eruption killed an estimated 16,000 people and buried the entire city of Pompeii under 20 feet of ash and lava within minutes, preserving the Roman city like a snapshot in time. The eruption began on August 24, 79 AD with a series of earthquakes and explosions. The explosions grew in intensity over the next few days, climaxing with a massive explosion that sent a column of ash and gas 21 miles into the atmosphere. The Krakatoa Eruption Krakatoa erupted on August 27, 1883 in the Sunda Strait between the islands of Java and Sumatra in Indonesia. The eruption was so powerful that it caused a series of tsunamis that killed over 36,000 people and caused widespread damage throughout the region. The eruption began with several earthquakes and explosions that lasted many days. On August 27, the volcano erupted with a massive explosion that was heard over 3,000 miles away. The explosion caused a huge cloud of ash and gas to rise into the atmosphere, blocking the sun and causing darkness to fall over the region. The eruption of Krakatoa had a profound impact on the environment. The ash cloud from the eruption blocked the sun, causing temperatures to drop and plants to die. The 100-foot-tall tsunamis caused by the eruption caused enormous damage to coastal areas and travelled a staggering 500 miles per hour. The eruption caused a global drop in temperature of 2 degrees Fahrenheit and is estimated to have killed over 36,000 people. Volcanic activity in the Philippines The Philippines is located in the Ring of Fire, a region around the Pacific Ocean with a lot of volcanic activity. In recent years, there have been several large eruptions in the Philippines, including the eruption of Mount Pinatabu in 1991 and the eruption of Tal Volcano in 2020. Mount Pinatabu Eruption Mount Pinatabu in 1991 was one of the largest volcanic eruptions of the 20th century. The eruption caused widespread ashfall, which damaged crops and infrastructure. 
It also caused a global cooling effect, leading to lower temperatures and crop failures worldwide. Tal Volcano Eruption Tal Volcano in 2020 was the first major eruption of a volcano in the Philippines in over 40 years. The eruption caused widespread ashfall, which damaged crops and infrastructure. It also forced the evacuation of over 300,000 people. As of June 13, 2023, the Philippine volcano Mayon has been erupting for over a week, forcing the evacuation of over 14,000 people. The volcano, known for its near-perfect cone shape, has erupted more than 50 times in the past four centuries. Its most destructive eruption came in February 1841, when lava flows buried a town and killed 1,200 people. The Consequences of Volcanic Eruptions Volcanic eruptions can impact the environment and the people who live near them. The most immediate effects of an eruption are ashfall, lava, and pyroclastic flows. Ashfall can cause respiratory problems, damage crops, and make it difficult to see. Lava flows can destroy property and infrastructure. Pyroclastic flows are fast-moving clouds of hot gas and ash that can travel up to 700 miles an hour. They can incinerate everything in their path. In addition to the immediate effects, volcanic eruptions can have long-term environmental impacts. Ashfall can cause acid rain, which can damage forests and crops. Lava flows can change the landscape, making growing difficult for plants and animals. Pyroclastic flows can bury entire towns and villages, making it difficult for people to rebuild. Volcanoes are a powerful force of nature. They can be destructive, but they can also be stunning and are another one of the fantastic natural phenomena of our world.